morning, everyone. I'm out here uh, in my shop this morning, and I've uh, got a little project I'm going to try to try to complete today. Uh, the other day, uh, a friend of mine sent me a YouTube link to uh, a pretty a tool that she thought was pretty neat. And it was a Carter Accurite uh, bandsaw log mill, and so I checked out the video, and it, uh, it looked like a pretty neat little gadget, and uh, Makes it nice where you can take some, uh, you know, some small logs that you might find maybe if you have a tree fall in your yard or something. You can take and actually uh, kind of mill some 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 of your own lumber out of it. But uh, you know, it was $139.99, I believe, and, and uh, you know, to me, I thought you know, it seemed just a little bit pricey for for what it is. And I thought, well, you know, it's probably something that. Uh, the average Joe could probably make in their shop, and you know, if they got a bandsaw, they can, you know, want to make one of these. They could probably uh, make one of these pretty easy. So uh, I sat down and uh, drew up some plans. Uh, anybody that knows me knows I model everything up in, with a 3D model, and I've got uh, drawings of each one of the little parts that I need. And the other day I was out here and I already cut some of these parts on my CNC router. Uh, this is the, uh, the base platform, and what I did is I, I use this to mill a pocket. This is going to be my uh, uh, this is a piece of half inch cut three quarter wide, and it's going to be my miter bar. So I cut this down just about an eighth inch. And I'm going to glue that in there, and then that will be my uh, my attached miter bar. And then I've got these other slots that I milled in here, and I went down to my local Ace Hardware and bought these little I think they're called toilet bolts which you bolt the toilet to the floor and these will go in here and slide back and forth to adjust the fence and uh, and then I also cut these little these little gussets using my CNC router uh, of course these parts here I just cut on the, the table saw and I've got to lay out some holes on those and then get get the fence part glued together but uh, you know it's nice to have a CNC router to do some of this stuff, but all of this stuff really could be done uh, with just a router or maybe a router table. Uh, you know, it could be done just as easily. Uh, you know, you don't have to have a CNC router to do this little project. So, but anyway, I'm going to get started gluing some of this stuff up and laying out some of these holes, and I'll, sh I'll keep the video rolling as uh, as it progresses. Okay, I laid out my holes. In this piece, I actually just use the uh, the uh, base plate here as a as a template and uh, clamped it flush on the end and uh, center punched those holes and, and drilled those out so those were ready to accept the uh, the little bolts there. And this is the other piece. And for the for the fence, I've got uh, coming off an inch and three quarters uh, off the end, and then I'm doing every inch and a half so I can uh, adjust my, my little stop block on the, uh, for longer or shorter logs. And uh, what I did is when I was dimensioning these, I uh, dimensioned them using ordinate dimensions so I can just pull the tape off of one end and go right down and, and mark them. And then I fit these with a center punch so I can, uh, so the drill bit won't walk on me and I'll get these drilled and we'll get this thing ready to go up. Before I get ready to glue this up, is I, I took the uh, my disc sander that I that I made in a previous video, and I rounded off these uh, these corners that are going to be sticking out on top, and then uh, just to make sure I got these uh, the radius on these the same, I uh, actually bolted this together and then used the disc sander to uh, radius those. So now this will when it's glued up, it'll sit on there like that, and 
there won't be any sharp corners uh, to bump into. Okay, I've got the uh, my version of the bandsaw log mill uh, finished up here. I've just got a, a stop block here. I think I'm probably going to add some uh, maybe some rough sandpaper, 60 grit or something there. I've got another block here with a little bolt that I can use to uh, piece the log in there. I've made a couple of passes and uh, I really don't have the right blade nor the right type of log to try this out. This, you know, you're supposed to cut stuff when it's green and this is a, a log off my firewood pile out back and it's uh, pretty well seasoned but I got a pretty good cut right there even though this, you know, this is not much of a log. Uh, and I also don't have the right blade. I put the uh, biggest blade I've got on here and it's about a 3.8 with uh, I guess four teeth per inch or something and I probably need something um, you know, a little, a little bigger than that for, for doing this properly. But anyway, I'll uh, set it up here and I'll slide this in and we'll, we'll take another, another cut here. I'm not going for any certain kind of uh, thickness or anything. I'm just, just basically playing around trying this out right now. Okay, so let's fire it up. Let's, let's see how it works. Okay, here's the uh, piece I just cut off of there. Again, this, like I said, this is kind of a, kind of a crummy log to, to test this on, but actually it, uh, it cuts a lot better than I thought it would just because, I, like I said, I don't really have the right blade. Uh, I need a more coarse blade on there to, to go through some of this stuff, but uh, it gives me a, you know, a way to test out the, uh, the uh, jig here and, and see that it's, it works fine. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with it and it's, you know, like I said, I forgot, I think this is one, all this came out of one piece of uh, half inch uh, oak plywood. This is a two, uh, two foot by two foot that I bought from Lowe's for just a few bucks and this is just some scrap oak and stuff that I had sitting around. So all in all, a pretty, pretty cheap project and sure beats uh, Paying the one thirty nine ninety nine for the uh, for the Carter model, but uh, anyway, that's uh, looks like it's going to work okay. Uh, thanks again for watching my videos, and if you haven't already, please subscribe uh, to my channel and uh, watch for future videos. And we'll catch you next time. Thank you.